Hi everyone. Welcome to the Girls of Steel practice field located in Pittsburgh Strip District. It is here where teams in the Pittsburgh area can come and test their warm up before the big competition. But let's take a step back and see what it took to get here. One of the most essential criteria to getting a robot to a competition is a great team. My name is Billy Sullivan, and I am a member of the Sarah Hines Advanced Robotics Program. Team Sharp 3260 is very unique. We are made up of students from all over Western Pennsylvania. This mix of individuals allows for a collaborative strength that sets our team apart from other teams. Because of the many diverse backgrounds of our members, each individual brings something different to the design table. Teamwork is paramount to the success of our robot. This team dynamic and collaborative process has proven to work for Team Sharp. Last year, Sharp received second place at both the Pittsburgh Regional and Buckeye Regional FRC competitions. Our team starts the season off by attending the FRC kickoff. This year, FIRST has put an emphasis on collaboration and cooperation. Robots that can interact with other robots on their lines will be rewarded with higher points. Here's this year's challenge. A scoring cycle starts as a human player transfers a ball onto the field. Robots can just take the ball and run directly to the other end of the field to earn the basic goal score. But receiving assistance from your partners in moving the ball down the field will add bonus points. Alliances that use all three robots to assist the ball through all three zones will earn the most points. Following the kickoff, our team got together to brainstorm. After extensive collaboration and discussion, it was a team decision to use a catapult. This is the first catapult prototype. The first catapult prototype only had one large pneumatic cylinder. It did not have enough power to launch the ball to score a goal. At first glance, this large cylinder should have been overpowered for our application. But we were using it with airlines and pneumatic valves sized to fit within first rules. These small diameter lines limited the airflow, so we couldn't fill the large cylinder quickly and get enough impulse to launch the ball into the goal. Taking what we learned from the first prototype, we tested various cylinder sizes and launching angles to find the optimal configuration to score. We discovered that a single cylinder, regardless of its size, was not capable of launching the ball and to use multiple cylinders in parallel to make up for the force we lost by moving to a smaller cylinder. Therefore, we used three cylinders on the second prototype instead of just one, and we filled each cylinder from a separate air reservoir so that each could fill quickly. Our final design incorporated three cylinders on a new frame. The frame allowed us to mount the catapult at the optimal angle for launching the ball into the goal. Because the cylinders enable the catapult to reset immediately, the catapult is poised in the perfect position for catching a ball that either rebounds off the goal or is tossed to us from another robot. I believe that much of competing in first is being able to come up with a design innovation and being able to switch gears if the concept isn't working, putting aside personal pride and moving forward full throttle with a design innovation that will work. FIRST has inspired me to start two FIRST LEGO League teams and establish a robotics team at my high school, which participated in FIRST Tech Challenge this past year. I continue to mentor one of the FIRST LEGO League teams and judge at the regional and state competitions. Character is at the core of FIRST, and gracious professionalism sets the tone for all the amazing competitors.